Can a life straw filter take out the alcohol in beer? We're answering the internet's most burning questions with professional experiments. And we're asking our two contestants to accurately predict what will happen. This is no way. Question number one. You two have been swimming, I'm sure, once in your life. That's correct. But if you're in water for an extended amount of time, what happens to your hands? Prone. Oh, prone. prone. But my question to you is, will slime prune your hands just the same as water will? So Joey's gonna place his hands in the water and in the slime for four minutes. Will his hands prune the same or will it be different? Can you go over there, Eric, and kind of go like this? You want me to go over there and go like yeah. this? Yeah, kind of go like yes. this to the okay. slime. Oh. Wow, wee zowie. Is that the crazy Aaron stuff? It's crazy Aaron slime. They have different slimes. This is their water slime, I believe. <laughs> you got a little bit, yeah. yeah. Will Joey's hands prune in the slime like they will in water. No, no way! Here we go. Scientist, place your hands in three, two, one, place. Get down in there. What was your thinking about why you said no way? And I'm thinking about surface tension. I'm thinking about uh, like the osmotic transfer across mm. membranes and I feel like water is the wettest. That was my thinking as well. I'm like, okay, that slime is very watery, but nothing's waterier than water. And that's just my how opinion. Ben and I were raised. Ready, Joey? Take those hands out! Oh! 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 It looks drier. Whoa, they're very different. Look how different Whoa. their hands are. It does look like the slime has dyed his hand a little green. His water hand looks wetter, which does go with our theory that nothing is wetter than water. All right, Joey, I'm not seeing any prunage on the hand that was in the slime, but can you confirm, did a slime prune your hands? Oh, oh. Yay! If anything, they're drier. So kids, keep on playing with that slime. On to the next question. What is your favorite way to boil water? Uh, I'll, okay. uh, just, give me, just give me your number one. Uh, okay, easy, electric kettle. If you do not have an electric kettle, oh, yeah. I cannot recommend enough. Or you're boiling pasta, cut the boiling time in half. And if you're making pasta, lots of salt. Ben. I just kind of put it in a pot. <laughs> so electric kettle, full salt, pot. Could I interest you in boiling your water with a blender? What? No, you blend things with a blender. Blending causes friction. So will blending the water cause enough friction to get close to boiling? Friction between the blades and water? That's right. That seems impossible to me, but. I wish I could be a dreamer like you. <laughs> so I think I know your answers. What temperature is the water starting at? 74 degrees Fahrenheit. And show me your answers. I'm going for it. I'm what? a believer. Okay. Ben's in. All right, scientist. Let's get that blender going. Whoa. Whoa. I feel like it would take a while, right? Can he put his hand on the side to see if it's getting warm? Can you put your hand on the side to see if it's getting warm? Oh! Maybe getting warmer. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, he's going all the way in. <laughs> Why, that scared me. <laughs> he looks surprised. Oh, he's being coy, Leslie. I want to be wrong. I want to believe. Is it steaming? Do you see that steam? It is steaming. Are you getting that it's steam? Totally it's steaming. steaming. All right, here we go. Will it be over? 211 oh degrees. Oh, look at all that steam. 208. All right, Joey, we got really close to boiling. It was steaming, but did that blender boil the water? Oh, oh. we were so close. You don't want to lose like that. You don't want to win like that. I saw two bubbles, though. Well, I think it proves that it is possible. It is definitely possible. Pretty cool. I was impressed. Salt in the water, and we're on to the next round. Have you ever seen the experiment where you take drops of water and put it on a penny? Like to see the the tension of water because mm -hmm. it like will make like a little like orb before it bursts. Really? Surface tension. Yeah. So my question is, how many drops of water could you fit on that penny? That that oh, penny. Whoa! It is real metal. So how many drops mm. do you think that penny will hold? 
<laughs> it's like guessing the jelly beans in the big jar. I'm gonna say it's less than that full glass of water next to it, but I think it'll be more than I think. I'm gonna say 400. 400. I have no idea. Is I, that... I was gonna say 500. Now I feel like I have to go under that. I'm gonna say 399. <laughs> <laughs> Will that penny hold 500 drops of water? You both said. No way, because we said yeah. under 500. Let's see how many drops that thing can hold. He's got a little counter on his finger because Joey can't count real good. It is off to the races. Oh boy, he's he's really going in. And you can kind of see. Man, it's getting close, yeah. don't you think? Is it bubbling, Joey? Uh-oh. Whoa, whoa, water? Whoa, whoa, The tension has been broken. Joey's water broke. Joey, give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Did the penny hold 500 drops or more? Oh! Yeah. Both right. Oh, we won. Use uh, fingers to show how many it did. 400. Five, five, four, three. three. Oh, we were so wow. close. Wow. Dang. Holy cow. All right, what, uh, what kind of soda y'all two drinking these days? LaCroix. LaCroix. <laughs> ben, I'm a Gatorade Zero. So with your question, what kind of soda do we drink? <laughs> Oh, oh, baby! baby. <laughs> All right, so my question to you is, if you remove the aluminum from an aluminum can, will it still hold liquid? What? There is a science experiment that will let you dissolve the aluminum from an aluminum can, leaving the plastic layer. Is that strong enough? There's a plastic layer under that? It would make sense, because way back in the day, before like reusable water bottles were like popular, getting an aluminum bottle to hold water in, you couldn't get rid of that metal taste. So it makes sense, because I've never had a metal taste with so any like of my coating it so you don't taste the... That'd be my guess. I didn't know this question was physically possible, but I now have an opinion on it. All right, <laughs> okay, that's what we want. Great. Three, two, one. Definitely. Definitely. Oh, Definitely. we're twins today. Really loving the power of plastic, you two. Yeah, I believe in plastic. Plastic is great. Hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> Joey, our scientist, has his sodium hydroxide solution. A warning, do not try this at home. That is poison. We probably should not be doing this. <laughs> Joey is scoring it with some sandpaper there to prep it. All right, place it in there. Now this is gonna take a while. All right, here we go. Joey, let us see the can of soda. Oh! oh interesting. Oh, let's go! That's so weird. All right, and there is liquid in there. Slosh it around, Joey. Give us a good slosh. Whoa, Joey, take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> they both said definitely, so you're yeah. both right. And we're both driving home in a new Ford Fiesta. That's right. Yay! Bring it out. <laughs> if you two had to think of one thing that brings the boys to the yard, what would you say? I would probably say like a presentation on 401k investing. Okay. Yeah, I would say my thesis defense. Hmm. Well, the correct answer was <laughs> milkshake. Oh. oh! Milkshake. My question for science is, can you turn a milkshake into snow? What? Excuse me? So Give us a little demonstration there of how the Insta snow works there, Joey. So you take this powder, scoop it into that bowl, and then instantly, Oh, oh, it's fluffing. Ah! It becomes snow. Sort of like a movie magic. Every Lifetime movie uses the Insta Snow. Yeah. Joey's got a, ooh, a strawberry milkshake. If Joey puts the Insta Snow into that bowl and pours the milkshake on it, will it fluff up like that did? The milkshake didn't seem super thick, so I think we got that working in our- That helps. Okay, I have my answer. Three. Two, one. No, no way. way! Oh my no. god! You guys, we are not planning this. This is That's crazy. crazy. All right, so they're saying no snow. Oh Joey, pour that milkshake. Oh boy, here come the boys. Is it fluffing? I'm listening. Oh, oh he's, he's oh. giving a little swirl. This is what we call an agitation. I don't think it is fluffing. Man, I don't see any. Is I don't it kind think of? It's fluffing. 
That a Hallmark movie does not make. <laughs> it's kind of like a chunky snow. But I'm not having a first kiss on Christmas Eve under mistletoe while that's falling. Oh, oh. he's going to get you with a milkshake ball. Oh, 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 oh. oh. what is that? That is not snow. Oh, it smells good though. Oh, it's so rubbery. It's it bounces. It what? Are right, you ready? Oh. <laughs> I got milkshaked. All right, I'm gonna let our scientist Decide. Did it snow? Did it snow? Ah! Oh, oh, yeah. No snow! On to the next question. All right, you two are both from Iowa. Mm -hmm. On the count of three, what is your favorite butter sculpture? One, two, three. Sean wow. Johnson. Sean Johnson. Johnson, that was a good one. You're both well-versed in butter. My question is, if we made a knife of pure ice, would it cut through a pound of butter? Is the butter cold? It is fridge cold, fridge it's not cold. freezer cold. Okay, I got my answer. Will the ice knife defeat the Iowa butter? Ice Definitely. knife! Oh my god! Oh. Now I will tell you, the ice knife has full tang ice. What? That tang <laughs> is full ice. Repeat everything you just said in the a way tang that- tang is ice. Is this a code? Full tang. If you have a, a knife that is full tang, the metal goes all the way into the handle, oh. which means it makes it much harder to break it Yes. when you're cutting. Yes. So I'm just telling you, the tang is ice. Joey, produce the ice knife and the butter. Yes, oh, ice, awesome. knife. ice knife, ice knife, ice knife, ice knife. Ice knife. I wonder if it's gonna make it too cold. Will the butter melt the ice or will the ice strengthen it? Oh, you told me it was full tang. That's the problem, you told me it was full tang. He's still trying, he's still, he's still going. trying. <laughs> All right, Joey. Did the knife cut through that butter, though? What? what? That's Are crazy! You, Are you serious? Is, why does Joey hate ice knife so much? <laughs> now, I gotta go with our scientist here. The knife did break oh. before the cut, and then he was able to break it with the handle apart. Oh, you're telling me it was so powerful even the handle of ice knife can just demolish butter? It didn't cut through the butter. Joey kind of jabbed it in half. I'm so sad. Can I get that butter as a treat? You sure can. <laughs> Thanks, oh, buddy. All right, those yeah. two Iowans will not. <laughs> On that oh. oh yeah. Mm. <laughs> what happens if you put an ice cube in water? Does it sink or does it float? Oh. I know this one. What is it, Ben? It definitely floats. It, it definitely floats. floats. So my question to you is, could you make an ice cube out of water that does not float? Are you under a bridge in a bottle and you're giving us a <laughs> riddle? Because the answer to most riddles is, Ice knife. The answer to this one is not ice knife. You got a little trick, Eric. I see. Uh, fine, I fall for it. No way, all ice floats. I'm also gonna rail against the impish little look you've got. Thank this, you, it this, is impish. This puckish little smile you have, and I'll say no way. You, go, you know what, you can go definitely. You want me to? I don't like going against you on this. Okay. I want you to. Because my sister asked me to, I'll say definitely. All right, Joey's got our ice cube there. Here we go, you ready, Joey? Three, two, one. Oh! Are you David Blaine? A, a little sinker. Kadabra. What? And I've been mind freaked, and I don't know why. Do you want to know the peek behind the curtain? We used heavy water. It's water that's heavier than normal water. This is a thing? Oh yeah. Is this like one is good for your hair and I... one is not good for your hair? <laughs> heavy water is extremely rare. It's used to make weapons and nuclear bombs. I think that ice cube costs about $60. <laughs> what? You're kidding. We gotta get in the heavy water business. So it's actually made of deuterium oxide. So I did trick you a little bit. It's not technically water. Yeah. Acts very similar. I kind of feel like great Regular water sucks now. Can a life straw filter remove the alcohol in beer? So I want to make sure I'm on the same page as everyone else. The image I have is a man in a creek yeah. just sipping out of live running water. It like filters out 99.9999% of microscopic organisms in water. But will it take the alcohol 
had a beer. I'm pretty good at science. <laughs> Alcohol, it's sort of woven into the water. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. Stitched in. Speaking Stitched. as someone with a science background, yes. water's like big fabric. Uh -huh. And alcohol sort of is woven in. Yeah, it's the blanket of the world. I have my doubts about removing ethanol from mm. water, because they are all like the same kinds of molecules, right? Mm. Water is H2O, ethanol is a combination of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, I believe. Well, if you want to get a good little peek over there, Joey oh, yeah, has, now this is like a industrial life straw filter, so it's not the straw that you drink from the creek, but this is like a, kind of like a Brita style one, but it is a life straw. So we do have a test strip that will test alcohol. This is used for women who are breastfeeding and they want to see if there's alcohol in the breast milk. So I guess my question is, will it remove any of the alcohol content? Okay. All right, I have my answer. What are you going? Definitely. No way. Oh. Whoa. All right, ready, Joe? You're gonna do the test first here with the beer. Got a couple of uh, St. Louis micro brews over there. Four hands, shout out. And it's good science because we're using our bare fingers. So that's at full alcoholness. If you're breastfeeding, it's like, don't give that to a baby. Oh, is there gonna be any foam gonna, in coming out Do you think it's gonna get like lighter colored? It is taking a while to filter. Oh yeah, well, it's a, it's a serious filter. Have you gotten any of these questions right so far? Hopefully you have, and also hopefully you tap that button down below to join the VAT19 memberships, help support the channel, and you get 19% off all of VAT19.com. Check it out. Okay, there's oh, a little, okay, okay, there's a little coming oh. through. There's some color, mm -hmm. there's, there's some color there, but it is still definitely just a dribbling through. It's very light now. Does it smell like beer? A little Ooh, bit. Okay. Will it be full alcohol? <laughs> the waiting is very true to science. All right, Joey, it's been a few minutes. We got the two test strips there. We're sitting a half mile away from you. You're gonna have to make the call here. No way or way. No oh, way. Yeah! But you better bring that over here for me to try it. Whoa. It took all the taste out of it. All I can taste is water and alcohol now. Isn't that wild? Oh, that's terrible. It didn't take the alcohol out, but it took a lot of stuff out and it made it undrinkable. Undrinkable. When you two go out in the rain, how do you keep the rain off of you? Oh, what I do is I open my arms to the sky and twirl around and just savor the moment of being alive. Mm, so you're singing in the rain. I uh, crouch down low where the rain can't get me. I okay. do it. So, but you don't use umbrellas or raincoats. So my question to you is, could you make an umbrella out of a fan that would repel the rain around you with air? Uh, what I'm thinking of is, I think it's like at the butterfly house or something, they have like a strong jet of mm. air to keep the butterflies from leaving. Uh-huh, that's true. So I could kind of see it. All right, will the air umbrella work and keep Joey dry? Three, two, one. I want to say no, uh, way. no way. Oh, no know. way. Joey's going to get soaked with the rain, they say. I want it to work, though. I, I really do. I mean this with my heart. I want Joey to be dry. All right, Joey, let's get that fan ready. And that's how we're faking the rain, I guess? Yeah, we got a rain contraption there. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh, Turning on the air. It's not looking like it's going to work. Turning on the water and... Oh! oh he looks pretty wet. Oh, my gosh. He's getting Are you drenched. Wet? Yeah, he looks... Yeah. Yeah. All right, the air is just making a mess of everything. Uh, if anything, he's getting wetter. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. now it's, maybe he's got the fan backwards or something, I don't know. Wow, okay, we're gonna have to get Joey cleaned up. That definitely didn't work. You were both right on that one. Too good Feels to be true. Good. Feels good. And we'll see you on the next episode of No Way. That was our last one. See ya. That19.com.